Over break, I went to Dallas to visit my girlfriend's family, and we started talking about octopuses because her nephew has this recent fascination with them, and it was, it was really cute. I had also just watched Binding Dory on the airplane, which had a super cool octopus, a mimic octopus to be exact, as one of the main characters. So I guess octopuses were kind of just like on my brain. I then started doing some research of my own, and yeah, octopuses are super weird. So here are 27 super weird octopus facts. First off, the plural of octopus is not octopi, but rather octopuses. Over time, it was accepted to be both, but now the dictionary has settled on just octopuses. It sounds so weird, I know. When octopuses get bored, they eat their arms. The technical term for this behavior is called autophagy, and it is observed when octopuses are in environments that are not very stimulating. So like, not a nightclub. Normal non-arm eating behaviors are seen in environments with stimulation, such as, you know, aquariums with shells and fish and, and cool pineapple houses. Oh yeah. All octopuses are venomous. While most don't have enough venom to actually harm people, one bite from a small blue ringed octopus can paralyze a human in several minutes. In fact, they have enough venom inside of them to kill 20 people. They're so cute. It's so deadly. An octopus can change the color of its entire body in just three tenths of a second. This basic color change can also be accompanied by the ability to mimic specific objects to perfectly blend in with its surroundings. They're kind of like jellyfish, as in they have no internal or external skeleton, which allows them to squeeze into and out of very tight places about the diameter of their eye. The only hard part of their bodies is a sharp parrot-like beak located where the arms converge. So like, if this is the octopus, the beak is like right there. <laughs> the beak is made of the same material as a lobster shell. Don't get too attached, because all octopuses have really short lifespans. Some species only live for six months, while larger species like the giant Pacific octopus can live up to five years. But that's, that's, that's not a whole lot. Five years is pretty short. If you like do the math, you know, like a whole dog years kind of thing. It's kind of like each one, one, one human year is 15 years for an octopus. So it's almost like one month is one year in octopus lives. They can withstand terrible breakups because they have three hearts. Two of them are brachial hearts that pump blood through the gills. And the third is a systemic heart that pumps blood to the whole body. When an octopus is swimming, the heart that provides the blood to the organs stops beating. This is likely the reason swimming exhausts octopuses so quickly and crawling is their preferred method of locomotion. We sometimes refer to them as tentacles, but actually they're arms. So octopuses have eight arms, not eight tentacles. Octopuses are a real life crime drama. Hear me out. Due to the copper rich protein called hemocyanin that is used to transport oxygen in octopuses, they have blue blood, like the crime series, blue blood, get it? This type of blood is more efficient than iron rich hemoglobin in environments with cold temperatures and low oxygen pressures, like that of the ocean areas where octopuses live. The male uses a specialized third arm, <laughs> yes, a third arm, called a hectocotylus as its reproductive organ. One species of octopus called the argonaut even detaches and throws its hectocotylus at the female, which then swims and attaches to her mantle through its suction cups. Swipe right on that. Octopus parents die pretty quickly after mating. The female octopus lays between 20,000 and 100,000 eggs all over her den and tends to them meticulously for five to eight months. She has such dedication to the eggs, she won't even leave to eat and eventually dies of starvation within weeks of her young octopuses hatching. The male, on the other hand, dies from programmed hormonal death. 
They go into a dementia-like state where they roam the open sea prone to predators and refuse to eat, which usually ends up killing them due to muscle and weight loss. And they get picked off by fish like cod. That, that must have been one epic mating session, is all I'm saying. Each suction cup is equipped with chemo receptors so an octopus can taste what it's touching. Something that I do not wish onto any human. Each arm usually has up to 240 suction cups with one suction cup being able to hold a weight or force up to 35 pounds. Octopus arms have minds of their own. Two thirds of the octopus's neurons are in its arms. So basically they have like brain arms or arm brains. They're armed with brains. Yeah. Octopuses are super old. The oldest known fossil of an octopus is 296 million years old, which is much older than the dinosaurs by a couple million years. Octopus ink is not just to hide from predators. The ink is made of melanin, the same chemical that gives humans their skin color. It contains the compound called tyrosinase. When this is sprayed into predator's eyes, it causes a blinding irritation and also scrambles the creature's sense of smell and taste, which is kind of like octopus mace, if you think about it. This defensive chemical is so potent that if the octopus doesn't escape its own ink cloud, it could die. Most octopuses for human consumption come from North and West Africa. It's not the place I thought they came from, but that's where they came from. That's where they are. The country that eats the most octopuses is Korea. According to the UN Food and Agriculture Organization, around 270,000 tons or 540 million pounds of octopus are imported by different countries around the world. The word octopus comes from the Greek octopus, which means eight foot. The typical octopus is 12 to 36 inches long and weighs six to 22 pounds. However, the giant Pacific octopus typically grows 16 feet and weighs 110 pounds. The largest giant Pacific octopus was recorded to be 30 feet long and weigh more than 600 pounds. That's about the same size of a small horse. But the question is, can you ride an octopus? Can you? The smallest octopus is the octopus wolfie. It's smaller than an inch and weighs less than a gram. And it looks a lot like an orange Snapchat ghost. Connection? Illuminati! Octopuses are not vegans. They are classified as carnivores and eat clams, shrimp, lobster, fish, sharks, and even birds. Didn't see that one coming. Octopuses are considered to be about as smart as a household cat. And they also try to leave as frequently as the household cat. Bonus fact! After the first ever full genome sequence of an octopus, biologists claimed octopuses could not be compared to any other animal on the planet. Their genome yields an unprecedented level of complexity with 33,000 protein coding genes more than humans. It's pretty crazy. Their DNA also seems to be highly rearranged with genetic information leaping around the genome. This actually leads people to believe that octopuses are alien. However, other scientists like Charles Moody's said this, quote, no matter how crazy an animal's DNA might appear, it is probably from this planet if its cells contain the energy generating organelles called mitochondria, end quote. And octopuses do have mitochondria. Bonus! Bonus! Octo eyes are really strange. When the octopus moves around, regardless of the body's position, the eyes remain in the same place. So they basically always see the same thing upside down or right side up because the octopuses are watching. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, go ahead and give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know what fact blew your mind the most. Like which one you were like, what? Octopuses do what? That's crazy. What? 
Um, that if that's your reaction, I want to know in the comment section below. I think for me, it was the blue blood. I was like, wow, that's that's crazy. It really had blue blood. That's like not like it's blue blood like we think of like the veins. Like they actually have real blue blood. Um, yeah, and so uh, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. We have new videos every Tuesday and every Friday. On Tuesdays, we have videos like this, Top 27 Facts and Nickpedia Originals, where we explain really complicated things and we try to break down so it makes it really easy for you. And then we have science experiments, which is always really cool. And then on Friday, we have a show called Will It Blow, where we literally just blow stuff up. And uh, I'll see you guys really soon.